what you want to do is call your building department. Here's a good place to start. And ask them, is there anywhere online where code violations and or fire damaged properties are listed? Some municipalities, not a lot of them, will actually list this information and then you can market to it. So you have the information of the homeowner, the, what type of violation it is. It's a really good source for pulling up niche properties that most investors uh, have no idea how to market to. The other way to get it would be to either go through an insurance adjuster, because who do insurance adjusters market to? They, mar they market to property owners that have recently fire damaged properties or water damaged properties. Uh, and so this is a list that you can get, and if you make a connection at the fire department, uh, you can get it. So this is a, a unique list that most investors have no idea, didn't even, didn't even know it existed, or they knew it existed, but they've never actually found a way to get it. And it's a great list to market to. So I'm going to go through these campaigns. How many of you have ever done a direct mail campaign out of curiosity? Let me see a show of hands. Okay. Uh, direct mail is also contingent upon your area. It's also contingent upon how many people are utilizing direct mail in your area. So if you have a lot of people, if a list is widely available, uh, there may be a lot of people marketing to it. So the best way to stand out when it comes to using direct mail is to be very frequent with your campaigns, meaning you have, you don't just send one letter, one postcard. That's not going to be enough to create the response. Most people don't respond to your direct mail campaigns until sometimes you've hit them four, five, six, seven times. So the frequency is the key to direct mail. That's the key to having long-term success with direct mail. Now, let's go through a couple of uh, these campaigns. I think it's making an adjustment here in just a second. Are you adjusting it back there? There we go. So the pros of direct mail, um, here's, a, here's a company. Some, some people uh, want to do the direct mail themselves. Some people want to use a company to do it for them. Uh, there's a company called Sales Team Live. How many of you have heard of Sales Team Live? Let me see a show of hands. If you do not want to do the fulfillment of your direct mail, Sales Team Live is a really good option. What they do is depending on the list you want to market to, they can help you get certain lists. They're not going to be able to provide every list for you. But they can help you find certain niche lists and they have marketing campaigns obviously that they can fulfill for you. So they're a direct mail fulfillment house. Uh, if you guys want to use a very inexpensive version, uh, write this down. You can use click to mail. Click to mail, you have to do a lot more work yourself though. But click to mail is a very inexpensive service where you can create marketing pieces. You have to get the list. You have to do the work, but, the, but you can actually upload the list. You can send it out. It's a little bit less expensive, but there's more labor involved in doing it. Or obviously you can do it yourself. That's going to be the cheapest way to do it but that's not the best use of your time. So those are kind of three options that I point people to depending on what type of campaigns they're wanting to run. 